This little dresser was from my booth space, and I accidentally scratched it when I went in to deliver a new item this week. So I could have left it there and touched it up with some new paint, which is Weeping Willow on this tiny little piece, but instead I decided to bring it home and give it a makeover. I have something new that I want to try today, so I'm going to take you on this little journey. I cleaned the piece, removed the original hardware, which I will reuse, and decided on a new color. This color is called Stormy Seas by Dixie Belle. This is a chalk mineral paint. Chalk mineral paint is amazing for using on your furniture. It blends very well. There's zero VOCs. You can use it inside and around your pets. And this is a quick little one color makeover. So I'm going to cover the entire painted surface, which was sealed in a satin clear coat, so I don't have to do any other prep other than clean the piece. If you needed to scuff sand or remove any previous waxes that you applied, that would be an option for you if your furniture is already painted. So two even coats of Stormy Seas went onto this piece to cover that Weeping Willow color, and we will apply a brand new item today. The other reason I brought this piece home from a booth space is to totally be transparent. It hasn't sold. It's been sitting there in my space for about six months. And that's usually the max amount of time that I leave something there when it doesn't sell. If it hasn't moved or sold by anywhere from four to six months, you need to kind of do something about that. Keeping a fresh new booth space is, is fairly important. It is for me anyways. I don't want to feel like a customer comes into the store and sees the same items over and over again. So if it hasn't sold, it's time for an update or bring it home and store it. Something that you need to do to switch it up in your space. So after waiting for this beautiful color to dry, I waited 24 hours. I am going to come in and we are going to learn about a brand new product today. Dixie Bell has some new release items coming out at the beginning of March. Please check with your local retailer to see if they have ordered them in and they will be available online approximately mid-March. So what is this? What is this? This is a water slide transfer. Do y'all remember back in the day when you were kids and you had these little water slide tattoos that you would put on your skin? You would lay them down with the image side onto your skin and then apply water and the tattoo would release and stick on there? That's basically the same, same thing. So we have new water slide transfers available coming to you soon from Dixie Bell Bells and Whistles. And I'm going to get into all the dirty details in a few minutes when I show you my live and we can apply this together. Well, hello and welcome to Dixie Bell's paint page on Facebook. My name is Melissa. I am the owner and artist here at the Top Shore RVA located in Richmond, Virginia, and I'm also a Dixie Bell brand ambassador. And I am live here every Wednesday at 3 p.m. to sit on the floor or the paint stool and play with some paint. And today I have something kind of fun here for you. It's a brand new product and I am excited to show it to you and share it with you today. We are going to learn all about brand new water slide transfers and we're going to have some fun. So welcome. If you don't know me, um, I did link my pages in the description. I put my Facebook as well as my YouTube so that if you wanted to check out some more tutorials, a ton of these videos are saved over there. So you can check them out as well and see how everything is going so who's excited for new products who's excited for new products did you hear the news that Dixie Bell is releasing a ton of brand new bells and whistles products a ton a ton okay so I have used a lot so I thought about sitting on the floor and showing you everything I've left but it's an incomplete set so I'm just going to show you one thing and let all the other BAs and content creators show you all the good stuff I have some puppies here on the floor if you hear some sniffling and snuffling but let's jump into it so have you heard the news about this? Have you heard that we now have water slide transfers? And what is a water slide transfer and why is it different than a regular transfer? We're gonna go over all of it today and we are going to apply it to a piece of furniture so that you learn all the ins and outs about how to apply a Dixie Bell Bells and Whistles 
water slide transfer. So this one is called the Gilded Damask. This actually comes with four sheets inside. I have opened this up and I have used partial sheets. So you're gonna imagine that these sheets are approximately this size right here. These four sheets are very similar to a transfer. They have a backing sheet and they have a clear sheet to hold the image correct. And they also come with instructions. And we're gonna go over all the steps that we need to use this product. So before we get started, I did put some on a drawer front today so that you can kind of see a finished product and you can check them out in person. All right, so dun, 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 check it out. This is the drawer of the front of this piece. I've got like a little thing in there. <laughs> and we, uh, we have it kind of applied to the front here. Now I'm gonna show you kind of close up. You can see how there's a little bit of a sheen. Can you see that sheen? That's kind of like the water slide part. But when it's not sheen, you can actually see how beautifully detailed these water slide, water slide transfers are. So they work in the same kind of way that a transfer would. It's an image that you put onto an item. Normally with a regular transfer, you would have a burnishing stick that you would burnish it down. With this, we're gonna use water, kind of like a, a little water tattoo. So you can see that beautiful detail, check it out. You can see that shiny gold, look at that gold. And you can see the shine of the actual transfer. We're gonna talk about how to seal this today and how to get rid of that shine because I have used this on another project and once you do seal it, um, you cannot see any of that shine. It just looks beautiful and gorgeous. I did put a little piece of the gold right over here. Can you check it out? Look how beautiful that is. So I've put it behind where the, the handles are going to sit on this piece. So once again, this one is called the Gilded Damask. It's four sheets on a brand new water slide transfer. And I'm gonna bring the camera in nice and close and we're gonna put one on together so that you can see exactly how I apply a water slide transfer. So there you go, what do you think? Show me some hearts, throw me some love. Do you not love how beautiful and detailed that is? Check that out, so gorgeous, right? And you can cut them up and apply them and layer them and do anything that you would do to a normal transfer. It's just that you apply them with water rather than burnishing them down, which makes it really fast. Because if you have a transfer like this, you see all those little little bits and pieces on there, right? The burnishing might take a little bit of a while, but because this is actually a water slide, you're gonna apply water to the backing of the paper and it's going to release it down onto your furniture. All right, so let's move this little drawer out of the way. We're gonna jiggle joggle you and I'm gonna bring you right in so that you can see exactly what I am working on. I'm gonna try and get as close as possible to my project and I'm gonna bring you in too. All right, let's go for a little ride. <laughs> All right, so if I miss anything while I'm working, please drop the questions and comments below and we can um, work on this together and I will answer the questions as I go along. So let me see if I can get you close. We're gonna be working on the surface right here. I turn my buffet on the side. Now. Water slide transfers, when you apply them and you're vertical, because you're applying water, the water kind of like drips or your transfer slide could move a little bit. So I found that turning this onto the side is going to be very helpful. And I'm not gonna lie, I've only done this one other time. <laughs> so of course we're gonna learn all this together. So these are the instructions that come on the back of the sheet. Uh, they're very simple. You're going to make sure that your, your paint surface is quite dry. You want it to be dry for approximately 24 hours before you begin to apply your water slide transfer, making sure your paint is nice and dry. You are then going to peel off the backing of your actual transfer. This is a piece that I've cut up for the image on the front because when you actually use them, you have a clear sheet. See the clear? You have a clear sheet and you have your image sheet, okay? And in not like a transfer, where you would burnish it down, you're gonna be applying water. And you can see the image on the back side as well. See the back side with these images? This is so that you can line it up because you don't really see through the paper like you would on a transfer. The transfer, the regular transfers are adhered to a clear sheet. The water slides are adhered to a white sheet, all right? Instructions are, clean, dry surface, wipe it of any dust and debris, peel off the clear sheet from the front of your design, align the transfer onto your piece with the color side down and the gray side upwards. See, color side, gray side. And then you're going to make sure that this backing becomes nice and wet. Using a lint-free rag, you're gonna apply water to the backing of your design. And you, once it's wet and it sits, I like to wait a couple minutes. You're then going to make sure your paper is saturated. You can push out any air bubbles or wrinkles, any make sure your water is out of there, and then you're gonna peel this off and your design is gonna be left on the surface, all right? So let's do this together. I'm gonna to move my instruction sheet and I'm gonna remove all of the things that I'm not using for this project today. So remember, there's four sheets inside this transfer. I've cut them up because I'm still applying these onto the front. Aren't they beautiful? 
and we're going to be applying this to the side today and then I don't think I'm gonna be able to flip this whole piece of furniture around to do the other side so bear with me we'll just do one side of the dresser today all right hey Jan how are you today thanks for watching yeah you know it's funny because when you learn something new there's always a learning curve so I'm gonna teach you the way that I do it and the way that it's worked for me and sometimes the best way to learn about new items and new projects and products from Dixie Bell is to actually see how it's gonna go. So you can see the image here. This is the image that goes down onto your piece. The same image is on the back, okay? So the same image is on the back of the sheet. So say you were lining this up, let's pretend. Pretend I wanted to join this together, okay? And make a huge image. You can join this together and then you can see, like I would cut this and then you would be able to see the exact lineup. But for me on this side, I'm gonna put one on one side and this on the other. I know they don't, they don't match exactly, but I still think because they're kind of fun and kind of individual, you're not really gonna look at it and go, oh, they're, they're totally different. We're just gonna decor the sides of the piece. But you could actually take these two sheets and make one large image. Exactly, Patty, exactly like temporary tattoos. Remember, you'd put them on your skin and you'd pack them with a wet cloth. So I have a t-shirt like material. Dixie Bell actually sells a bag of rags um, that I'm gonna be using for this project. So this is my rag because I'm going to be applying water and pushing it down. And I like to have this handy so that I can, you know, like really make sure that my water is absorbing into the paper. All right, so you're gonna choose your image sheet. Uh, it doesn't matter because I think I'm gonna do, like I said, one on one side and one on the other. You're never gonna be able to see both sides of the buffet at the same time. I think you're just gonna see the colors. Let's see, I want this one going this way and this one going this way. So technically, if I wanted them to match, like say on the front of a dresser, this would be really pretty or like a big long wardrobe. But we're gonna do one here and one on the other side, okay? Let's see if it's gonna hit the wall, if I'm gonna be able to match it up exactly. It's gonna fit perfect. It's gonna fit perfect. This one actually would fit as well on the other side, but let's do this one. All right, so what do you need for a water slide transfer and how do you uh, apply it? I see Jan asking how long you let the paint dry. I painted this piece, Jan, on Sunday or Monday. Um, it's been dry for a couple days, but they do recommend at least 24 hours of dry paint. It's also nice to just kind of wipe off or like use a cloth and wipe it off so there's no dust or anything on there. So when you peel off this clear, see the clear? It's hard to see clear paper. There's a clear paper on here protecting this image, okay? So this is kind of sticky. Not a ton sticky, but like a little bit sticky. Not as sticky as a regular transfer. So once you peel this off, you need to be prepared to know that you can't really, you need to be fragile. This is a fragile creature when you peel off this cellophane backing, okay? I also have my bells and whistles little thingamajig so I can push the water around if I want but you might not use it, you might not need it. I also have on the floor a bottle of water. Okay, no special water needed, just regular water. Let's do this. So I have my clean, dry surface, okay? Clean, dry surface being painted in Stormy Seas by Dixie Bell, which goes really well with this transfer if you're looking for a match. Stormy Seas with this brand new, I have to look at the title, I keep forgetting. Gilded Damask Water Slide, okay? Gilded Damask Water Slide, Stormy Seas, let's do it. Let's pretend, let's, let's actually, let's not pretend, let's manifest that this is going to go simply and easily because I've only done it one time before. <laughs> one time, you know I like to uh, do all this crazy stuff on, on lives. So I'm gonna peel off my cellophane wrapper. Cellophane wrapper is now off, you can see it. See it in the reflection, I'm gonna drop it down. This is the side that goes down. Image, side, down. Image, side, down. So I'm going to line it up, make sure it's in the middle, and I'm gonna put it down. Once it's down, I haven't done this and I'm not gonna do it now because I want to use this image. I think you might be able to pick it up a little bit and move it around, but I think that that would be a dicey, a dicey behavior. I think you're best to lay it down and let it stay where it's gonna live. Similar to transfers, it's kinda of got that sticky back, okay? Now I have my water bottle filled with water and my rag. I'm going to just start to spray. This is why your paint needs to be dry, y'all. If your paint's not dry, you're going to be in trouble. So I'm gonna spray this and or get a bucket and fill water with my rag. I just dropped my thingamajig. So I'm going to be pushing down 
my rag onto my wet transfer backing. We want it to be saturated, y'all, saturated. Let me grab my thingamajig that I dropped on the floor. If I can reach it, oh, I can reach it. So why do I have the thingamajig? Well, if you get this thing really wet, and when I say wet, like it's, it's pretty sopping wet. Like I like to push the water to make, get it in on these edges and make sure that I've got all of this image sheet covered in water. It also pushes out any air bubbles and makes you sure your image is flat. Now, I'm going to tell you that once this thing gets very wet, your image is basically just going to slide off the paper, right? It's going to slide off the paper and go on to your project. If you came in here and started like slip sliding this paper around, if that made sense, like if you were on a vertical surface and you were gonna slip slide this surface around, it could move. I've had it move a little bit. If your image is not 100% stuck, you might be in a little bit of trouble. You can see how much water I'm putting on. The last one I did, I kept a bucket and I actually took my bucket and my rag and I dispersed the water onto my project like this. But I think that was a little overkill. I don't think I needed to do as much as that. I feel like I kind of maybe have a little bit more control when it comes to applying this with my spray misting bottle. So. The back of the instruction sheets say to let it sit for upwards to three minutes. You can see how soaked this paper is now, right? This paper is wet. It feels like paper on this side. That's all it is on this side. You see my fingers splashing the water? There's no air bubbles. I've pushed them out with my thingamajig. I've made sure that my water is covering this entire image because where this image is on this side is where my image is on the other side. Okay, I have only done this on chalk mineral paint. I know you can do it on silk paint. I am not sure about the answer for Terra, other than Terra is reactivated with water. So I have a feeling that it might not be a good mix unless you sealed your Terra first. Then you might be able to complete your project. But we will let Dixie Bell weigh in on that because like I said, this is the only second time I've used this. I'm putting it on over top of Stormy Seas chalk mineral paint that's been dry. So let me show you something now. Let me move my little thingamajig out of the way. I'm gonna keep this thingamajig nice and clean just for my water slide transfers. So I'm gonna put this on the floor. So now how do you take it off, right? It, th this is the thing, like th this is the part that made me nervous the first time I put it down. Cause I'm like, oh, it's there, but how do I know it's really down onto the actual project, right? Like you can't see. So anytime you try something new, it's always nice to try it on something small, but I'm gonna start at the edge and I'm gonna peel my transfer paper back. And I can see that it's still not adhered on the edge all the way. So I'm gonna come back in and spray it and push it with my rag, making sure that it's completely saturated, that my water has soaked through and all of the edges, okay? Once again, give it another minute, check it out. I think I missed this corner a lot. Again, pushing it through. You can grab your thingamajig that I already threw on the floor and I can't reach. And you can push down. Oops, got one of my hairs on there. Making sure to really push that transfer down, okay? I'm gonna check again. Is it peeling back that edge? Now I can tell that that is adhered. So when you start to peel this back, you've got a large image sheet, right? A really large image sheet with a beautiful transfer underneath, super detailed, that will stay on the piece and the paper will come off. The last one I did, I let sit a really long time and I feel like it was excessive, but the instructions say three minutes, so we'll see. Hi, Nate, how are you today? I see you watching. Thank you for tuning in. Oh no, not the rag. Drop the rag on the floor. Okay, let's give it a go again. So by peeling up slowly, you're able to see if your transfer is pushed down onto the surface or if it needs more time. Like I can see the edges are kind of not grabbing as much as I would like, so let's just push some of that water out. That's better. So I'm pushing the water out, it seems to be grabbing a little bit more. So can you see 
when you lift it up how this is underneath left here so you can check from either side doesn't really matter so pretty this is a big piece this is the biggest piece that I've done yet I haven't done a piece this big yet again peeling off you see one corner that folded over using my thingamajig tool So it's not like a transfer where you're burnishing it. It's, it's releasing itself with this water soaked paper. It's so hard to do this stuff on camera too and I can't see the opposite sides. More spray, more water, Let's keep going. So if you've used a water slide transfer before, let me know in the comments below. Are you excited to try this one? To try a new, a new product? New products are always exciting, but again, total learning curve. Especially having one this big, where I'm like trying to do it all in one spot. <laughs> I've only done tiny little baby pieces. I haven't done such a big one before. I think that thingamajig helps, to be honest, pushing it down. I know I'm pulling the wrong way for the camera, but I feel like this side is saturated more than the other. The other thing that I like about these transfers is that the gold is super gold. Like it's like, it's a lot of gold. When the gold goes down, it's very shiny. I can't see. <laughs> can't see from this angle. See how it like, like picks up a little bit sometimes? You just gotta push it and then it grabs. It's like magic. <laughs> I'm scared. Okay, I can see like a couple little of the tiny gold lot, like these little, little, little bitties ones didn't stick. Still cute. Still cute. Let's see if I can move this one over. So once they're down, they're down and this gets dry. You can seal it with clear coat or you can seal it with um, matte or satin. It's up to you. I'm just folding these little edges. Sometimes the edges catch. So I'm just folding the little edge over back to where it belongs. What do you think? Super cute. So it looks like I have a couple of dots that like moved a little bit. They're on here. I don't know. I was just doing it as per how I've done it. So I'm just going to stick a couple of those dots back down. Let's see if I can get them off my finger and back onto the piece. What do you think? It's so pretty, right? So like I said, I've only tried this one time before. I still have to learn how to do this. Obviously my piece is like soaking wet now. I have to like wipe off all this water. That's why you do it on a paint piece of furniture that has the paint very dry. Let's see if I can turn you without knocking you over so you can come even closer. What do you think? Super cute, right? Super cute. And that was scary. I'm not going to lie. I've only done it one time before. So it's a learning curve. But you know, the more I do something, the better I'm going to get at it. And I'm excited for water slide transfers. I saw that Connie from Fab Designs has done one and she had one that was really big. She made like a big pattern out of the whole thing. I've got those little dots here and I'm just trying to put them down where they belong. It's like dealing with like the skinniest, thinnest, like there's no halo once these pieces are on here. So it's really great because once they're on there, they're on there. You don't have to worry about like any halo or it looking like a sticker, if that makes sense, because they just sit so perfectly. I have one more dot on here. Where can this one go? I feel like there's like a couple more. Probably put that one over here gorgeous. Amazon's here. I hear them at the side door. So this is wet. Now what I would do is wait for this to dry, gently blow off the excess water. Once it's dry, I would come in with my satin clear coat 
if I'd like a little bit of a shine, which sometimes I do, or if I would like like a flat clear coat, which is the same sort of thing, um, but just no sheen to it. What do you think? It's really cool, right? Like it's like, it's a new thing. New things are always fun and exciting. Let's hold up the dried one so you can see how the dried one is on the front of the drawer. Can you see how it has that little sheen to it? That's the water slide where the sheen is. So if you were to seal that, that sheen part just disappears. And it's so, like when I say there's no halo, look at how close up. No halo. So pretty, right? Super, super pretty. What do we think? Do you like the option of these brand new water slide transfers? I'm going to do this image on the other side. I think it looks very regal, very regal looking to me. I have to clean up my edges with my chalk mineral paint. The color on here is Stormy Seas. This piece was painted in a green and I had it at my booth space and it did not sell. <laughs> so I scratched it on the weekend when I was um, bringing in new furniture. So I had to decide if I wanted to repair it or bring it home and repaint it. So since it has been sitting there for so long, I was like, let's repaint it and just give it a new life. And it is now in Stormy Seas with this brand new Gilded Damask water slide transfer. It's looking good, right? Do you like it? I actually added a little one up here and a little one on the other side in the same spot, like a little piece of gold for just a touch, just a touch of detail. I think it's pretty, pretty cool. Should we do the other side? That means I have to like finagle this whole piece around. Can we do it? Do you mind me moving furniture when we're on camera? Let's do the other side. I'm already here. I'm already wet. I already got all. Like I said, you're not going to see when you look at one side and then look at the other. I think I want to do it this way. I know that it looks upside down, but I kind of feel like this motif works better this way. So let's get my water. Let's get my rag get my towel, get my thingamajig, and get started. All right, so surface is clean, surface is dry, right? The same pattern, this is the pattern that's going down onto the surface, is repeated on the back. This helps you when you're lining it up. You need to peel off the cellophane backing, okay? So you see the cellophane? It's hard to see the cellophane, but there's a cellophane protectant for this image. Remember, this is a little tacky, not as sticky as, say, a regular transfer would be, but still tacky. I do wonder if spraying the surface before I put down the image would help. The instructions do not say to do that. The instructions state that, you know, you need to have a nice, clean, dry surface, that you peel off that backing, and then you're going to put the water with a lint-free rag, so generously apply the water to the backing of the design until it becomes super wet. So you could actually even leave your rag, like leave your rag laying on top. What do you think if I sprayed this first with water and then put it down? Do you think that's a good idea or a bad idea? It might move too much, to be honest with you, because I feel like this is kind of shiny and slippery. So, I think I will not spray it. I think I will leave it like it is. We're just going to peel off the backing. Okay. And I'm going to line this up to the middle like I did the last one. And I'm just going to lay it down flat. Okay. So now it's here. It's flat. I'm just going to experiment because I haven't done this before. I want to see about like if it sticks, if I pick it up. Because I'm, I'm your guinea pig. I'm going to push. So it's not sticking. So if you lay it down wrong, you might be able to pick it up. You might be able to pick it up. So what we're going to do is spray first the entire piece. Like I said, if you wanted to use your wet rag, I've done that as well. My rag is wet and just definitely wet that rag and push it down. The first one I did, I used a rag in a bucket, but I feel like I'm a little bit lazy and I might not always have a, like, a rag in a bucket. So I'm going to do it the way that I, my lazy pants would probably do it. So I'm just going to saturate it with water, regular water in a spray misting bottle. You know, part of the fun of new products is experimenting to see like what works and what doesn't work. 
Yeah, maybe a bucket would be a better idea because I feel like, like when I say generously apply the water, like generously. sealed with the satin there is gold on this on this transfer so if you were to use a flat you might dull the gold a little bit I'm going so slow because it makes me nervous. Like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm new. Whenever something's new, it makes me always like want to do it live on camera because of course, how can we just make this as crazy as possible? <laughs> Once again, I'm just going to spray with water a little bit more, making sure push all those little edges down. I bet you these would look really cool on a mirror too because they don't really have a halo. Like I bet you they look really neato. I have to try it. Again, peeling up my edges. I can't see because I'm facing you all, trying to see what's happening on the camera. See that? So cool, so cool. Okay, that edge is stuck. Let's make sure on this side. Maybe if I stand up, I'll be able to see better. I do like having this thingamajig. I, I almost didn't bring it over, and I'm glad that I did, because I feel like it definitely helps me push, and make sure that everything is staying where it's supposed to stay. Look how cool that looks, you guys. So neat. So cool. Can you see how bright that gold is? Okay, let me move my rag out of the way. I don't want to sit on it because then I'll have a wet bottom. It's like the big reveal. Dun, dun, dun. So slow, so gentle but so cool. What do we think? Oh my gosh, that one turned out even better than the last one. Okay, so I really think that using the thingamajig tool to push down is helpful, super helpful. So you can see how the image was there, now it's there, off, off the paper, onto my project. <gasps> so pretty. This one looks really pretty, you guys, with the Stormy Seas. I really like this color combo. It's very regal. And I have hardware that I'm gonna spray in a bright gold like this. So cool, what do you think? Isn't that neat? Patty, I see Patty watching. Patty, you're gonna have so much fun with this. Like, it's fun to try new things. A little nerve wracking to try it live on a camera, but you know, that's, that's how we roll around here. We like to do the crazy things. <gasps> So pretty, so pretty. All right, tell me your thoughts. What do you think? Is this something you will try? Does it make you a little bit more, I don't know, excited to try something new that you've never tried before now that I've done it live on camera? If I can do it, you can do it. That's the whole trick, right? If I do it, you can do it. It's definitely a detail that like, I can't explain it. I really want you to be able to see that shiny gold, but it's so hard to transmit on camera, especially when I haven't sealed it yet. Can you see how bright gold that is? Look how flashy that is. 
super flashy. Since I wanted so a when matte it's dry, on this project, it, it does I ended have up that sealing the base shine, and over top but of zero the halo. Transfers, shine, Dixie but zero halo. Wax. When you this seal really beautiful the entire matte piece, finish. That shine disappears, right? Because the satin clear coat was done. is going to go over top. Little keyhole it's really, really going to be a game changer when it comes to putting some beautiful detail now, in your piece. This beautiful brand and like I said, you can cut them up and choose your own design. Quickly. But this one is I will keep you four pages. Now, thanks for watching. Four Don't pages, and like I've used one on this side, one on the other, and then I had two on the front. On the back of the design, it's going to show you how many pieces come in there. How cool is that? So cool. To continue this project after the video stopped rolling, I actually sealed the entire base of this piece with Dixie Belle's wax. I wanted a very matte finish and the wax definitely gave me that by covering the water slide shine. I reused the original hardware and then just buffed it a little bit with gilding wax in gold to give it a bit more of a shine, also adding that small little keyhole that you see on the front of the piece. And then this little makeover times two is finished. Hopefully it will sell fast in my booth space at the Lazy Daisy here in Short Pump, Richmond, Virginia. If you're ever in the area, pop by and say hi. I'd be happy to see you.